Uh, today we are going to do another teardown of uh, the Huawei, specifically the Ecolife HG8145V Jipon router or a Jipon terminal. Uh, this is also another common router with ISPs. And I know, being an ISP, I also know that most of you have questions. These routers that we use, what's the coverage, what are the features that they have. So as, as much as we are doing a teardown, I'll also explain the different ports, what are the uses, what, what, what do you need to know as a client and also as an ISP. All right, so that's how it looks. Uh, they've done a good, good, good work with the design, specifically from Huawei. It looks nice. So that's how you place it in your home. Uh, most of them come in white in color, but I know maybe there are other different colors, but this is the color. So right from the face, you have the Huawei logo right there. Then you have the power indicator. It's also written power. There's the PON, which means uh, the, uh, this is when you have a, 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 an, an active connection. LOS, which means loss of service. Telephone, TEL. Then the USB, there's a, there's a place you can insert a USB. There's a, then LAN 1 to LAN 4. This is the local area network port LAN 1 to LAN 4. We have the wireless local, local area network and the WPS button there. So also the indicators are on top. So once, once it's on, once they're active, you'll see the indicators coming on. From this other side, uh, the ventilations are there. Then from the bottom, you can see uh, this is the fiber port. This is where now you get uh, the ISPs putting in there, their fiber cable or the fiber patch code. So, and it looks something like this. Okay. So in case even the ISP does not do this for you, you can do it yourself. So you buy something like this. This is a fiber patch code. But now uh, I didn't have a uh, color matched to this. So you're supposed to get one that is color matched to your router. In our case, it's green, but I didn't have a green one. So we're just going to use this. Remove this plastic part covering the, 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 the fiber, the fiber, the fiber cable itself. And then you're going to insert, make sure that the groove lines up with a, with a small groove inside there. So you line it up, then you insert it just like that you'll hear a click small click and you know it's good so make sure that uh, you buy a color matched one to the to the router so this how this is what the the, the isp will do for you uh, or you can do it yourself okay let's put that aside uh, from the back side we have the label there with the serial number and the, the product number the mac number all that is there also, something you need to note is the IP. This IP is what uh, you use to, 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 to log in. You can use this to log in to, to this router for the first time. The IP is set there. And the username and the password that you need, you can have it there. So once it's brand new, uh, the details on the back there will help you to log into the router and, have, and do some changes or whatever you like. Okay. Down here we have the, the four LAN ports that I mentioned, LAN 1 to LAN 4. What you use these ports for is for expansion. You can you, you might want a wired connection to your TV or to your laptop or to your desktop or anything you, you want. Eh? So you can use these four, four ports for that. Um, we have a telephone port here. Uh, I'm not sure, but most of the ISPs don't use this. But uh, in case you, you might want this service, make sure you talk to your ISP. They'll need to have uh, VoIP traffic uh, as a priority so that you can have that uh, working. And some few settings and parameters that they need to do on their side so that it can work. Then you can buy a, a handset, plug it in, and you're good to go. Now, the two USBs, and we saw the indicators, the indicator right here. So these USB have uh, received a lot of comments, uh, people asking me what, 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 what do you use this for? So these USBs, I use uh, something we called NAS, that is a network attached storage. So you can have these in your home, 
and you can have like a 16 32 64 gb flash drive plugged in into either of them then you'll have to do a little bit of settings in there uh we'll do we'll do a video of, of, of everything else uh, about the settings and all that the, the the configuration part of it will do a video on that so now when when you have the the usbs plugged in here you can save your files you can save photos and videos directly to these to these uh to these flash drives uh unlike now having them uh occupying storage in your phone or your tablet or whatever you're using okay so you can you can use that that's the purpose i know other people who use it for other things um uh, but we'll as, as we continue i don't want to get too technical so there's also some other uses then the power port and the on and off switch right there we also have a reset button here uh please note that there's a way you can disable this reset reset button on your con on the configuration part there's a way you can reset it so when your isp brings you and you try to reset and it's not working maybe they, they will disable that so uh, that's also something to note okay so on the last side here we have the wps and the warland button so at times you do not have the you do not have a password and your phone will ask you to push the wps button and you can push this and instead of putting a password there's a way you just log in by, by pressing that okay and then now the wireless local area network switch so you can have this on or off if you just want to use the, the lans without having the wi-fi on you can do that all right so that's how it looks uh, i'm trying to be brief then you have the mounting mounting uh mounting holes here we just have that so it will be hanging like this like so okay it uses a 12 volt power adapter and uh they've not mentioned here but the it uses oh yeah yeah it's written the power rating here it's 12 volt or 1.5 amperes okay so let us open it up see what it looks inside so what you need you'll need just a common common electrician screwdriver and the star screwdriver okay so uh, others call this a phillips screwdriver so whatever you call it but uh, you understand okay so there are two screws at the bottom those are the only screws for this specific kind of router so you just open this up Okay, then you take off your electrician's screwdriver, then you start applying uh, this plastic cover on the top cover off. Okay, so there are some, some small tiny spaces there. I hope you can see that right there. And another one on this side right there. So just insert my screwdriver there. And then I'll move it like this. So I'm, I'm unhooking the, the, the clips that are inside there okay okay so it was uh it's fairly easy it's just a plastic plastic cover okay so that's how it looks the clips all over all right let's put this aside take your star screwdriver these are motherboard it's uh these are four antennas there's one here another one here another one here another one here and here five five of them one two three four five so it has five antennas one at the top side 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 and side okay just a simple motherboard not so complicated i love huawei for the configuration bit um they 
really done a good job. You can really do a lot with, uh, with the full way for the network experts and those who might want to get a little bit crazy with the, the networking and all that. Who away uh, do a really good job with providing a good interface for that. So you have the five antennas there. This is just uh, clipped to that. So I'll just remove that carefully. Okay. So on the the wires going to the to the antennas. So the other side looks like this. This is where you insert your fiber. This is where you insert this. Like I had shown you. you insert this right there. So you can see the groove. You can see the way the groove matches up with the groove on the on the on the patch code. This is what we're calling a patch code, fiber patch code. Okay. So matches up with that. Just like that. So you insert it and then here click. Okay, all right, so that's that. Is the fiber, and these are the LAN ports, as we mentioned, the telephone, the USBs, and uh, yeah, so these are the switches and all that. So uh, that's how it looks inside. It's, a, it's, a, it's quite fairly simple, not so complicated. I love the work that they do. All right, so it's also very light. So you are not going to get something too heavy in your house or, you know, it's fairly light, fairly simple. But I believe uh, you've also noticed that it's very, very prone to get in uh, liquids. You can see all these ventilations uh, make it, make it uh, you know, very risky for, for liquids, water and the like. So you, you want to really put this somewhere you're sure uh, it's dry uh, you won't you won't have any interference all right uh, thank you so much for watching um, I'll we'll do another video for the configuration bit this particular router we'll also be doing more of these teardowns you know and trying to explain the little bits and, and, and pieces of, of these routers most ISPs just come in and plug in things and leave so you're left there not knowing anything. So I'll be doing more of this. And please make sure you subscribe and like for more of this content. Thank you.